The Klamath River was one of the most important salmon producing rivers in the western United States. It originates in the marshes, lakes, and tributaries near the city of Klamath Falls in southern Oregon and flows approximately 300 miles southwest through the coastal mountains of Northern California and discharges in the Pacific Ocean near the city of Klamath, California. Native Americans lived, hunted, and fished along the shores of the Klamath River for centuries. From 1902 until 1962, dams were built on the upper Klamath River to generate electricity and to provide irrigation water for farms in Southern Oregon. The dams regulated the natural flow of the river and resulted in poor water quality and impediment of fish passage to spawning grounds. Four of the dams downstream of the city of Klamath Falls are scheduled for decommissioning and removal starting in 2023. This will be the largest dam removal project ever in the United States. I live in Southern Oregon and some friends, along with friends of friends, decided to drive out to see the four dams that are slated for removal and to imagine what the area will look like in just a few years with more natural flow reestablished. Come join us on our fun little venture. We met in the tiny settlement of Hornbrook, California, and we split up into three vehicles for our drive on paved gravel and dirt roads to our final destination at the Topsy Recreation Site in the John C. Boyle Dam near Keno, Oregon. Our first stop was the Agar Road Bridge over the Roaring Klamath River. The rainy season was coming to an end. Oregon and California received generous amounts of snow and rain over the previous months and we noted that the reservoirs behind the dams were completely full and water was being discharged, filling the river channel. Upstream from the Agar River Bridge, we stopped to look at the earthen Iron Gate Dam, the first in the series of dams blocking upstream anadromous migratory fish habitat. Iron Gate Dam, along with Copco 1, Copco 2, and John C. Boyle, are the four hydroelectric dams slated for removal in 2023 and 2024. Construction of Iron Gate Dam was completed in 1964 and impounds Iron Gate Reservoir with 1,020 surface acres when full and 58,000 acre feet of water. The Iron Gate Fish Hatchery was constructed to hatch salmon and steelhead that are released back in the river to mitigate the loss of spawning habitat. Pacific Court owns and operates the four dams solely to generate electricity. To continue to operate the dam under a federal license, Pacific Corp would be required to construct fish ladders to provide passage for migrating salmon and steelhead. For the little amount of electricity generated by the dams, the relicensing cost would be financially unfeasible for Pacific Corp. A few miles upstream from Iron Gate Reservoir, are the COPCO 1 and COPCO 2 dams. COPCO stands for California Oregon Power Company, the utility company that built the concrete COPCO 1 dam in 1922 and the smaller concrete COPCO 2 dam in 1925. The COPCO 2 dam generates electricity from water releases from COPCO 1 dam. The COPCO 2 dam does not form a reservoir, whereas the COPCO 1 dam impounds 77,000 acre feet of water when the Copco Reservoir is completely full. Copco and Iron Gate Reservoirs have been used for recreational fishing, boating, and camping. There are a few developed campgrounds and boat ramps, and many private houses and summer cottages have been built along the shoreline. These facilities will all be impacted by removal of the dams and the two reservoirs. We got back into our vehicles for a long ride into the steep and rugged Klamath River Canyon above Copco Reservoir. We passed by construction crews already beginning the task of removing the small Copco 2 dam, slated to be completed by the end of the summer in 2023. 
Dam removal and restoration of the riparian riverine habitat is estimated to cost $450 million. The majority of the funding for the project comes from Pacific Corp and the state of California with a much smaller amount coming from the state of Oregon. Dam removal and restoration is being managed by the Klamath River Renewal Corporation, a nonprofit organization created specifically for the dam removal project. A dirt road led us across the border and into Oregon to an old bridge site along the river. Timed water releases from the upstream J.C. Boyle Dam create a series of Class 3 and Class 4 rapids that are popular for guided whitewater rafting day trips. This flow regime will likely change after the J.C. Boyle Dam is removed in 2024. The rugged road led us high above the river canyon to give us a glimpse of the river where steelhead trout and salmon may soon return and use as spawning grounds. Our final stop was to visit the John C. Boyle Dam and Reservoir in the Topsy Recreation Area. The J.C. Boyle Dam was constructed in 1958 and it produces four times as much electrical power as the other three downstream dams slated to be removed. The dam is built with concrete and earthen sections. The generating station, or powerhouse, is five miles downstream of the dam. Water is diverted through a sluice to create enough kinetic energy to run the turbines in the powerhouse. The powerhouse generates electricity at peak demands that result in daily large fluctuations of river flows. Above the dam is a reservoir with 381 surface acres. The reservoir and the Topsy Recreation Area are presently used for camping, boating, and fishing. The Recreation Area site will remain open after the dam is removed and the reservoir is drained in 2024. Removal of the four hydroelectric dams should vastly improve fish habitat on the Klamath River. However, there are two dams upstream that are not being removed. The Keno Dam and the Link River Dam are used for water storage and for irrigation and flood control and are not part of the hydroelectric project. Those two dams will remain. Well, that concluded our adventurous day. We agreed to meet up again in a couple of years to drive the route once more to see what the river looks like after the dams are removed and the restoration of habitat has been completed. We enjoyed our trip and I hope you enjoyed this video as well.